goodness. Oh my goodness, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? You look absolutely beautiful. Thank you, you look great yourself, <coughs> Thank looking you. very colorful. Thank you very much. I mean, glam is something that you do better than most, that is for sure, being the luxury um, influencer that you are. And you do so much more than just that. But from this perspective of like how retailers and fashion brands are looking more and more to social media to be able to position themselves in a way where people can really get to see, um, you know, what they have to offer. You are a person who's on the top of every single trend and everything that's happening. What trends are you looking at right now? now. I'm not ready to be full on glam except for today. Today I really <laughs> had to put myself together. This is for me? This is all for you, Mavs. You, the feathers, all of it, the makeup, <laughs> it was all for you. But un under normal circumstances, I usually try to keep it very comfortable, um, but still, you know, very fashionable. So I've been wearing a lot of like sports luxe, yes. comfortable loungewear, um, stuff that I can feel comfortable at home, but still go to my grocery store and buy like whatever I need. Yeah. Um, and even social events, I feel like there's a lot less pressure when it comes to looking uncomfortably fashionable yes. and looking more like, you know, you just kind of stepped out of your house and yeah. you just like born yeah. Fa fashionable. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, I love sports luxe looks. They my favorite. And when it comes to like color palettes, I stick to the neutrals. I'm sure you've noticed. Yes, Instagram yes. I was crazy. literally just about to say your Instagram feed lately is very, very neutral. Yeah. Um, and there is that level of comfort that's coming through with that, um, you know, now and again, an elevated look of glam where you are possibly just adding on, you know, a, a beautiful pair of um, well-designed sneakers or yes. even a bit of a heel with some of your sport luxe just to make it a little bit more updated but it looks like uh, more of like I woke up like this and I look good enough so all I need to do is just add this one little accessory and I'm good to go anyway. So the first thing we're going to look at is gumboots. I was just in Rwanda right now and did hike in gumboots and you know you, you do that practically to be able to not get your clothes ridiculously dirty, your shoes and everything yeah. and there's a way you can upstyle that in, in, in quite a cool fashionable way but is that something you would do? I always thought it's a trend that would never suit me personally because I'm really tall, so I can never get gum boots that are the right length. Mm -hmm. So if I wear boots that are a bit too short, I usually don't know what pants to wear with them. But if you are the right height for gum boots, I think it, it, it looks so cool. I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, European influences that have yeah. made it such a great trend, especially like the the gum boots that have like a different color sole. So you'll have yes. like black gum boots with like a yellow sole, bring in that pop of color. Um, and it also is it's a fun way of it to, to incorporate color into like a more neutral outfit. And now onto something that you nail better than most. I think is always beautifully glamorous on uh, any woman with a bit of that elevated look, especially with the right shape and form in a, in a dress such as the one that you're wearing. And that is the puffed sleeves. Although they're not exaggerated, they do do look really, really good. Thank you. I actually tried myself out with the puff sleeves uh, trend today, this time with feather puff sleeves. Yeah. At times, like, you know, I, I feel like puff sleeves can be a bit dramatic, but I've seen it in track suits. People like have like track suit jackets with puff sleeves, oh, which wow. are really cool and trendy. Denim jackets as well. Um, so it can, it, it can look really fun and um, add a lot, a lot of drama to an outfit, but you can still have it like incorporated in a more casual outfit. And then of course, there's the bucket hat trend, um, a trend that we absolutely love, um, but don't really wear as a trend, I don't imagine, it's just like the comfort of it. And um, I mean, I'm always in a hat, it's something that I think is just, it's such a great entry point for people who not so who are not so confident in wearing hats, yeah. to feel comfortable in a hat that will always look really cool. I mean, let's not forget that bucket hats have a cultural element in South Africa. So it's a trend that we've always worn. It was it was really liberating to see like in everyone else in the world wear bucket hats because it kind of Catching like put the stamp. Trend. Yeah, exactly. it put the stamp on South African fashion to yeah. be like, we are ahead of time. We have been doing this. Mm. It's not only about like the culture. Now it's like it's become like something that everyone can wear. You can wear it with a suit. You can wear it um, with track suits. You can even wear it with a dress, which is great. One of my favorite people who's been wearing a bucket hat that looks great in it all the time is DJ Zintle. Oh my gosh, she she looks oh, amazing. amazing. Yeah. She looks, she wears it like with anything. Mm. I think she probably has, have you seen her closet? It's yeah. insane. She probably has like an allocated section in her walk-in closet <laughs> for just hats. for bucket hats. Yeah. She's iconic when it comes to bucket hats. 
Saralanga and an opinion with an absolute authority. That's what we think of these trends. Let us know what you think and keep trying them out at home. Experiment and see what you can put together with your flight of fancy in mind.